What's up guys, welcome to your third Java game applet tutorial. What we're going to do in this tutorial is actually get into some graphics and uh, create basically a ball that goes across our screen. Uh, just to give you guys some introduction to animation, uh, which we'll be needing most likely for a game. I, again, I haven't decided on what kind of game I want to develop for you. Um, but when we're painting to our applet, what we're going to need is the X position and the Y position. We're just going to move these positions around to get uh, the movement that we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple integers. We're going to have one called X and um, we're X like that and we're going to set this equal to be 0 uh, to start out with. We're also going to have an int Y again 0 and also an int radius uh, for our circle radius. So we're going to give it a radius of 10 pixels and we might as well throw in also a couple other ones that you'll see often uh, DX for a change in X we're gonna set that equal to be 1 or 2 something like that whatever you guys want we're just experimenting right now and DY is 2 as well um, so there we go uh, we kinda have our initial values initial variables set up now what we're gonna use these variables is within our paint method so we're going to go scroll down to the bottom of our class or wherever your paint method is. And within this paint method we get some information uh, of an object called graphics. Relabels it G for us. Um, again, if you guys are brand new to Java, I'd recommend watching the first Java tutorial series. Go through that real quickly and you should pretty much understand most of this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to refer to that variable that gets passed in called G which is a graphics variable and we have all these methods we can use to set the color of whatever we're gonna paint to set the shape whether it be a square or a circle for our example um, so what we're gonna do first is set the color we're just gonna refer to again the graphics that's getting passed in called G and we're just gonna use a method called set color and as you can see it takes a color within its parameter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna refer to the color class capital C and then we're gonna hit dot and we have a list of different colors that we can choose from um, so pick one of these colors that interest you like green um, I'm just gonna use that and there we go we've set our graphic uh, to be of the color green so far so now that we have the color we want to set up the shape and how to fill it um, you know creating our circle and again we're going to refer to that G and we're going to say fill oval um, and as you can see it takes four things within its parameters an X a Y a width and a height we're defining how how big our width will be from our X and our width and then we're defining our um, height of our oval by the y and the height here so what we're going to do is we're going to have the width and the height be the same um, both are going to be the value of our radius so 10 pixels um, you could either put 10 in here I'm just going to use our variable since we set it up might as well use it right so how this works is Java knows that we're creating an oval right and it's going to start at the position x y both of those are set at 0 0 so it's going to be at the top right corner of our screen again Java works at the top I'm sorry top left um, and then so this is position 0 0 and then this would be position you know like 10 0 um, this would be like 10 10 you know it goes like that so it counts up um, our X position will get more positive as it goes right and our Y position will get more positive as it goes down our screen um, so right now we're starting at 0 0 and then it knows it's creating an oval so it's gonna you know have the width of the oval be 10 away from our X position so that will be uh, 0 to 10 so we have a whole diameter of 10 um, which doesn't really make sense but we'll get to why that is in a second and then same with the Y uh, it's, I could explain it I mean I could try and explain it but might as well just show you guys what this looks like so actually I'm gonna real quickly uh, change our radius to be let's do 20 um, and then we're going to save this and run it and see what it looks like, our little applet that we get here. Um, this is our, like I said, our applet. And it starts at the position 0, 0, and then it paints a width, and then it paints our height, and then it's going to create a circle within that radius. Um, but the problem is, right now we're painting at the top left corner of our circle, uh, where actually that point is that isn't part of the circle, but it's starting at the top left of our circle and then it's painting you know the width and the height but what we actually want to do is we want to have it within the center we want it to be painted around the center so we're going to try and manipulate our code so our circle is painted you know the bottom uh, right part of the arc of the circle painted right at that point real quickly 
Um, so let's go down and I'll just again try and explain what I'm, I'm doing here. So for x position, what we're going to do is we're going to have the beginning of our circle be x minus the radius. And then we want the width to be the radius times 2. So it's actually our d diameter. Um, so now our term radius will actually be what it should be, a radius, not the whole diameter like I just had uh, displayed there. So when we run this, our x now is centered, um, but now we need to center the y, as you can see. So what we're going to do is the same thing for our y. We're going to have our y minus our radius width. So right now it's 20, I believe. Is it 20? Yeah, 20. And then our, our height is going to be radius times 2, because again, we want our height to be our diameter, which is, you know, twice the length of a radius. So we save that and run it. And as you can see now, we get our circle centered around the zero, zero position. Um, and it should be somewhere like that. Um, but now we want to get into some actual animation because yeah, our, our circle is, you know, pretty on the screen, but uh, we want to get it into some animation. So what we're going to do is have our ball kind of move in a diagonal like this. So how we're going to achieve this is basically just changing the x position and the y position um, by our, our delta x, delta y, um, or our dx, dy. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys and hopefully you'll be able to break it down and understand it. But where we're going to do this is within our thread. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to our run method that we have here and within our loop, every time it loops through we're going to change our x position and our y position by the delta x and delta y. So um, let me just kind of explain this again. Um, we're just going to have x is plus equal to dx. Um, so it's just going to add dx to whatever our x currently is. And again, our dx we set equal to, we'll just change this to 1 and 1 for our dy and dx. Um, so now we're changing our x from being 0 to 1 the first time it loops through. Second time it loops through, it's going to be from 1 to 2, 2 to 3. Uh, so as you can see, the more it loops through, the higher x is going to be. And then also we can do that as well with y. So we're just going to have y plus equal um, dy. Again, just adding 1 to y each time it, each, each time it loops through. Um, so let's save this, run it, um, and see what happens. Oh, it's quick. So as you can see here, um, our, our ball is just moving diagonally down, um, which is cool. Uh, let me try and run that again real quickly because it moves fast. It's a quick one. So as you can see, it just, uh, just kind of moves in a diagonal um, from the top left corner down because, again, we're adding 1 to the x and adding 1 to the y. Um, each time it loops through. Again, we could set our delta y to be zero, so our y direction will never change. Save this, uh, run it, and now we have just our circle going horizontally on the screen. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, so you guys can uh, just experiment with that. Hopefully you guys kind of understand everything that's going on. Again, all we're doing is we're changing our x and our y positions within our thread. Um, so each time it loops through it, it updates our, our position of our circle. And then when it paints it, it still paints you know, our x position minus the radius. That's the starting point. And then it finds the width, which is just a radius times 2. And then it does the same with the y minus the radius um, for the height. And uh, then the height is actually radius times 2. So, I mean, it's... It might be kind of confusing just getting to, into uh, like programming animations and stuff. Just work with it a little bit. If you guys are confused, I guarantee you'll get it. Um, you know, some of these like you know equations like x minus radius, like it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on. So just experiment with some numbers. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.